So today I'm going to be making some 40 inch extensions <laughs> out of some wefts I got. So before we can get started, I have a little bit of a story about like where this whole thing came from. I'll show you the extensions here. So I was just scrolling through Instagram and I came across the place where all the celebrities like Kim Kardashian and others <laughs> get all of their like super crazy long hair you know that goes down to like here I came across a place that sells them their hair artists or whatever and I was like oh my god I want that long of hair I think it'd be so fun to get some super 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 long extensions because normally extensions go I would say the longest like normal places usually get them is like 26 maybe 28 inches but it is super rare that they actually go to 40 inches so i just thought it'd be like a really fun and ridiculous thing to do just for like whatever because my hair is i would say decently long now i don't wear extensions day to day there was time for years and years and years where i wore them every single day but i just don't feel like i need to anymore so it's not really worth it for me to like wear extensions for like another inch or two. Sometimes I do very occasionally if I want some more volume or if I'm curling it and I want just like a little bit longer, you know, some very small detail sort of things. This is about where like 20 inch extensions will land on me. So I ordered these extensions, right? And they were beyond expensive, like so expensive. Like I could not believe I bought them expensive. And the website said, that it was gonna ship in two to three days, but I was gonna, I'm gonna dye my hair and I was gonna dye them with it and have this crazy long cotton candy hair. It was gonna be a whole thing, but uh, they never shipped. They just like a week went by and nothing. So I emailed the customer service and they were like, oh, it's on back order now, even though they didn't say that when I bought them. So I was like, okay. And they're like a week. And I was like, okay. And then a week later, still nothing. And then so I called and they told me like another, I think it was like two to three to four weeks. And this was so much money. I just like could not justify it. So while I was down in Huntsville, I literally canceled the order and bought this stuff the same day. Me and my hairstylist, we went to a couple hair shops and they had these 40 inch extensions. Now these ones are not real hair. They are synthetic, but they are like heat safe so we can like style them and stuff. And they are, I think, a pretty good match for my hair. They're not super yellow. Obviously my hair is a little bit lighter, but I just thought that this would be so fun to do. And this was only $12.99 a pack. The other ones were like about 20 times more expensive a pack. So these it is. Happy and no shade to this company. Obviously they had some sort of mix up to where like they were selling these and didn't have them in stock. They did totally refund my money. They did it very quickly too. So if you know what shop I'm talking about, no shade or anything to them. If I do ever want real 40 inch extensions, I would probably go to them. Their customer service and everything was super nice. So I got three packs. And let me just show you guys like how far these are gonna go down. So if I put them in my head here, it's gonna go down to about there. I ended up deciding that because I have these extensions, I'm gonna do a Sailor Moon look. I will insert how it turned out here. In general, I just also think I wanna walk around for the day with this long a hair, you know, nothing wrong with that. So let's get into it. I have some glue so we can double weft these and also I'm gonna sew the clips in. Let's just open up a pack first and foremost. Voila. The hair actually does feel pretty good. Like if you just hand it to me, I wouldn't necessarily, yeah, I kind of would. I probably know it's synthetic, but it actually feels pretty good. Although I can't dye these with like normal dye, I think it still will be okay. All right, and it is free. Here is one, so it'd be like, Hey guys, that must be so fun. Imagine having like real ones like that. I mean, like these are so fun. I cannot believe how long these are. Let's unravel this and see how long the actual wefts are. Oh my God, this is gonna be, okay. All right, I'm already making a mess. Let me brush this out. Oh wait, no, it's gonna go by itself. It looks like a spider web. Probably should have brought a brush out here. Okay, hold on, let me go smooth this out. I'm gonna go fix this. Okay, I got it all done, untangled. It actually untangled really easy, I think. This is pretty good synthetic hair. I think I'm just gonna start right off the bat and I'll open the packs as needed. 
I have a little table here, can you guys see? So basically, I am going to be doing these double wefted because the, it is pretty thin and then I'm gonna sew on the clips. You don't really want to glue on the clips because it just doesn't really work out because you want them flexible. So let's see, this is my boyfriend's sewing kit actually. He's much better at sewing than I am at hand sewing anyway. Let's see if he already has one threaded. He does not, so that'll be fun. I think I'll probably also just use like this hand thread and we'll grab this needle. Perfect. When I was little, I used to sew all the time. Like I would make like pillows and try to make clothes, but like sewing was like a really big hobby of mine. Obviously not anymore. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna waste my battery. Having you guys watch me try to thread this, I'm gonna thread this and I'll be back. Okay. I got it, it didn't take too long. I got some tweezers, got it all handled. So I'm gonna take this and I wanna do some pieces like this long, um, just so I can do like that, that. I find the two clip pieces are my favorite. I don't like when they're like overly long and they go like all like that. So to do that, I'm basically just going to get it and like double it over to the size that I want and then I'll chop it. That looks about good to me. And then cutting this is obviously not gonna be the cleanest thing because there's gonna be some stray hairs and stuff, but I'm gonna do my best to not cut a bunch of actual hair. And voila, we got a weft. So I got some super bond glue that I'm just going to glue these together. So I'm just going to put that super lightly on the wefts over here. You can of course just like sew it together, but I think this will make it a lot more secure. Um, excuse me, bird. Can you not do that? And squirrel? God. I think I'm Snow White up in here. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna hold that together for a minute after I let it dry a little bit without closing it because I got freaked out from something tapping on my window. About to think I'm gonna have like a horror movie situation or something going on. Okay. And so here's this one. I actually think it looks pretty good. It'd be a good thing. So now it is time to sew them. So I got a bunch of clips. I'm going to start out with these light ones and I might have to go to the dark ones. So here is the weft and then I'm going to put this clip on like so right here and then I'll put another one right there. And I'm going to go through each one a couple times just because extensions can be kind of hard on like the thread part. This doesn't have to take super long once you can get the hang of it. This is also a good way to save money for extensions if you want extensions, but like I know extensions can be pricey. You can honestly buy wefts kind of like this and they'll be a lot cheaper and you just have to sew the clips on yourself. But I mean, it can save you a good amount of money just by doing like the actual like, you know, work yourself. And voila, look, that one bit is on there. Now I have to glue the other side. Glue, so. If you're someone like me that maybe has nails or maybe just generally challenged when it comes to small little things like this, tweezers are your friend. I am so excited. I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but I am committed to it. And I had to make sure that I got this done while I was still blonde. I wasn't worried about it when I was gonna do the human hair ones, but when they're not human hair, you can't just dye them. And now we have one done. Now just probably like 20 more to go. Exciting, okay. I might actually end up like triple wefting a couple of these just because the back they can be a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna get on this side now and I will show you guys until my camera dies. I'm not happy with me right now. Yay, 
Okay, so one is officially done now. Just gonna trim off a bunch of little threads and stuff. Okay, so watch now. Bam. Okay, so this one is done. Now I got more to do. This is quite a time consuming process. So I'm gonna get like two thirds of these done and then I will check them back with you guys. Okay, so I got a good amount of them done one pack. Um, but I just wanna see how they look in my hair to make sure that I'm like doing the thickness and stuff right. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna straighten my hair like completely because right now I kind of have like a little bit of like a curl in going on but these are like stick straight so I want my hair to be like that as well even though it does make it a little bit harder to mesh when it's like perfectly straight. I do have a bunch of dry shampoo in my hair but we'll ignore that. So this one almost ended up like quadruple wefted so I'm gonna put this one sort of in the back. I'm not going to do this like all perfect. It does a little thick, but that's okay. <laughs> perfect. And then another. This one was the triple. I really should have done one also holding it here, but if I want to go back and do that, that's easy. These are so funny. I would die if my hair was actually this long, like naturally obviously that'll never happen for me if for some reason i like i don't know something switched in my head and i wanted natural hair color and or like my natural hair color and i was gonna never do anything with it ever again i would 100 percent grow it out until it like until this point just imagine i'm sure it's a nightmare to maintain though like this length all the time I definitely, I think, need like one more pack. My head cannot fit as many extensions as I kind of thought though. <sighs> I'm gonna grab out some other actual extensions I have that maybe some 24 inch ones I could go down to here and it almost look layered and thicker and maybe I don't have to do another pack. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a 24 inch. Let me try to straighten this really quick. I guess that almost did, but you can still totally see where my actual hair is, which is the biggest problem. What I used to do is I would clip ones like underneath. Maybe I'll try that. Okay, it turns out I only have this completely different shade. It still works, so blonde is blonde, right? No. One, I'm making these obviously to have fun and just like live out a 40 inch hair fantasy, but I'm also mainly making them for my Sailor Moon costume that I'm gonna do, and I only would need those two, or this one pack, because I don't need a crazy amount of hair for it. Okay, so I still have the extensions in. I am just going to make some more. Uh, I figure I'm just gonna make these until my boyfriend gets home. Uh, I bit figure I have about 45 minutes so I can make a couple more. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna be done. I am so excited to have these. Obviously my hair isn't blonde all the time. These actually feel super good quality though, like $13. This is crazy good for $13, aside from when I'm literally doing it right now. They are not tangling like in my head or like doing literally anything that synthetic hair usually does. These are super good quality. I cannot believe I got them for so cheap and it's a good amount of hair too. I don't know how many grams it is, but it seems like a good amount to me. Obviously with like my thin hair, like if you have thick hair, you might need more. And you know, I don't know how these would last wearing them like every single day. Of course, it's like 40 inch hair isn't really like an everyday sort of thing, but if you wanna go all out for like a day or something like that, I mean, spending $30 on some hair is not that bad. And like, you can get more than one wear out of these unless you're like doing crazy stuff with them. Okay, so my boyfriend will be home any minute. So I want to get this last one in and then I wanna see what he says about it when he walks in. He knew I was doing this today, but I just wanna see. So let me try to get this in somewhere. This is a lot of hair to have in your head. I have way too much in my head right now. I don't even know where this is gonna go. Hopefully that is enough to make it not look super, super thin. Good. Ooh, look at that. That's long. I know. That's really good. I'm a fan. 
so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this process i know it's like totally different from what i normally do these will be perfect for my costume and also just to like have fun with whenever i'm blonde this hair is such a good synthetic quality i am actually so surprised i've been swinging it around and like doing the most with it and like it's still not tangled and it's really good if i can find this brand anywhere online i will try to link it below it is in the package it says it's shake and go and then it also says master mix organic something straight weaved so hopefully i can find this somewhere online in case any of you want 40 inch extensions <laughs> as well but this is all i have for you guys today please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching this i like to branch out occasionally hopefully this was okay thank you guys so much for watching and i will hopefully see you next time bye